Hey everybody, Santa back again, back in Dingaland. Still Friday, uh, Wednesday, February 21. Fresh out of the shower. Just trying to relax after a long bus ride again. Uh, I actually had the same bus going to Cabana Tuan and coming home. For somehow, somehow I got the timing right. We got the exact same bus. Pretty unusual. But I got things done pretty quick over there. Really, I didn't have to do a whole lot. Just went to the bank. And then, uh, didn't do any shopping. Uh, just, uh, had lunch with Steve and Joe. And, uh, the place we had lunch was right by the bus terminal. So as soon as we finished eating, I hopped on the bus. And within five minutes of me hopping on the bus, it left. So I guess it probably left there about one o'clock. Uh, so it was a quick turnaround. That's what I expected. I brought home a couple pizzas from Domino's, which is in Walter Mart there. Everybody enjoyed the pizza. Uh, and on my way home, on the bus, I kept getting messages from Otto, the guy that's got my car. And wouldn't you know it, the torque converter arrived today. He sent me a little video, like 30 seconds long, of the torque converter box, the box that the torque converter was in. Uh, I didn't actually see the part, it was still in the box. And he was pulling out the way bill. Uh, which they already paid and uh, it's gonna cost more than I thought it was gonna cost of course the part alone was uh, 95,000 pesos so almost uh, almost a hundred thousand figure two thousand dollars and then you have uh, shipping and taxes which is close to another like 40,000 crazy crazy uh, and then that doesn't count the labor. They said labor is probably going to be another 20000 maybe. So, all in all, it's going to be, you know, uh, probably $3,000, maybe maybe more. But I already paid 2000 to Ford dollars. Uh, actually, a little more, 2300 to Ford with, with them doing nothing, basically nothing. Uh, Otto probably had to re redo everything they did. Uh, plus they did some extra things, like uh, change the oil, which probably didn't really need, but they did it anyway. Uh, put fresh gas in the gas tank. They actually took my gas tank down and washed it all out, cleaned it all out because that gas was really old, almost a year old, nine, ten months. Uh, I didn't want to run it through the system. Might clog up everything. Uh, I don't trust it. They said diesel fuel is only good for about six months. So I got fresh gas in there. And then he showed me another picture of the truck on the lift. Just a picture, not a video. And I told him, okay, just keep me informed. Keep me updated. Let me know uh, how it's going. Once they get that torque converter in, they have to dial it, dial it all in, make sure everything's good, and then test test drive it. And uh, if everything's good, we taking it home. So uh, Grace's plan was she was going to Cabana Tuan to the rental property on Saturday anyway with the kids. So uh, she was going to take the bus. So we might just uh, change the plan. I might go with her and we'll take the car. That way I can check on my truck and see what's going on and see how much longer. Uh, and then while I was at the bank, of course, I got extra money out to pay, to pay all this, all these bills. So uh, I'm gonna need even more money than what I took out. Uh, 
money, 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 people. That's why I'm trying to uh, make a little bit, do a little investment opportunity that uh, Steve and Joe gave me. So what I did with them was going to help a little bit. But if I had more money, I, I could do much better. So hopefully in the future, that'll happen. Um, anyway, what's done is done. And hopefully this truck will be uh, home soon. I already have a prospect that may be interested in buying it. So we'll see about that. Also, while I was waiting for the bus, uh, some foreigner, actually he's, he, he's from California, but he's Filipino, but he lives in San Francisco. Uh, him and his wife saw me sitting there waiting for the bus. So he came over, his wife wasn't there right away, she came later, and he started talking to me. And, uh, his, his uncle, who I've met before older gentleman that, that's been here before, been to this property before, uh, came over and talked to me because I had mentioned that we were selling this place. And his eyes lit up because he's kind of looking for something. So uh, I was getting on the bus. I couldn't sit, stick around and talk to him. I said, my wife's home. Go talk to her. You can look around. So when I got home, she's all upset that I said the property's for sale. She said, oh, what are you going to do if you, we just stay in Cabana Tuan all the time in that small house? It's going to be hot as hell there in the summer. It's a small house. The kids are going to have nothing to do. Here they have a big playground. They have plenty of place to play. Uh, we plan on coming here, back here on the weekends and enjoying the place. Uh, it's cooler here, uh, just, you're going to be bored, you have nothing to do, at least here you have a quiet and peaceful, while we'll be over there with the, I'll be over there with the kids, you can be here in peace and quiet, and enjoy the place, and just back and forth, she was almost in tears that I told these people it's for sale, uh, <laughs> Anyway, I didn't want to get in a big an arguing match. I just got home. I'm tired. Uh, we'll talk about it later. But supposedly they were supposed to come back around now and talk to us again while I'm here. But uh, she probably said something to him and scared him away. Uh, so I haven't seen him. I don't know if they're coming back. Uh, he said he was leaving tomorrow anyway. They're only staying here for a couple weeks, but not right here. He said he was only in town here for today. So I doubt whether we're going to see him again. Who knows? But uh, I don't know if they were totally serious or not. Also, she said, while I was gone, uh, there was a big meeting in town here which I did see all the chairs set up and everything right by the dirt road where they haven't done the construction yet where they haven't paved the road yet and there was tons of chairs set up apparently the mayor was there and the new Brangai captain and then tons of people were there she said she went to the meeting also and they were talking about all the things they were going to do here in town and how the property values are going to go up especially once the road's done they said right after Easter they're going to start on it, uh, which is good news. And uh, they were talking about the fishermen and the things they were going to do for the fishermen also and other projects they had going on. So uh, I guess that's good news. She goes, yeah, don't sell the property. It's going to go up. It's going to go up. Yeah, she's she's really, uh, you know, she, she wants to keep it. She wants to have two places. Which is ideal. I mean, it is a nice place to be, but, you know, you got to think of all the other stuff, too, like the typhoons and also the fact that we don't even have a title. Uh, I don't know if we even told these people that were interested about rights. 
Uh, I don't know if she mentioned it. I didn't mention it. Uh, but the, the subject never came up. So I'm not sure if they even are aware. But anyway, I gave them my information, my Facebook and my YouTube channel. And uh, so they have my information. But uh, I haven't heard anything anyway. So lots of things going on. Uh, always something going on here. But uh, the plan is probably to, we'll be in uh, Cabana Tuan in the house over there on Saturday. And maybe, maybe by the weekend my, my truck will be done. Because if they're working on it today, which is Wednesday, it gives them uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to work on it. Three days, it should be, uh, should be buttoned up, I would think. So uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky and while I'm over there I'll bring the truck home. But at least the parts there, at least they're working on it. It's just gonna be a big bill, man. That's it, that's all. So uh, that's all I got for you. Let me show you what's going on outside. At the end of day sunset here. Another beautiful evening. Another beautiful breeze. As I said before, man, if the weather was like this year-round, I wouldn't even consider selling. This is like uh, paradise right now. It is. It is paradise right now. This is this is what what you want. But it's not always like this, people. You know, rainy season. It rains almost every day, and that's when your uh, the typhoons come in. The Philippines gets uh, like 25 typhoons a year, average. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Uh, they're not all in the same area, of course, but, you know, only takes one. And, you know, we've been trying for five years to get a title. There's Patch over there, being a naughty girl. All the boy dogs are hitting her. But, uh, they've been keeping her uh, in with the uh, caretaker's room. They've been keeping her over there inside with the door closed at night. Uh, because all the boy dogs are coming over here at night. And uh, every time she goes out like this, the boy dogs are coming. They smell that, they, they smell that blood, man. There's one right there. See it? It's coming. Oh, maybe it saw me and ran away. But uh, she's not helping matters any. She she goes, when you let her out, she darts over there. So she must like it. Whatever's going on, she must like it. Okay, folks, anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go inside, relax, now that I took a nice shower. I'm really tired from the trip. Probably go to bed really early here, shortly. Well, not real shortly, because it's only uh, not even dark yet. <laughs> but uh, Catherine's got a full day of school tomorrow. She only had a half day today. And uh, hopefully everything will go good uh in the next few days. So stick with me everybody. Here comes Patch. Are you being a bad girl? Stick with me everybody. I appreciate you following me. I hope you find these stories I got for you interesting. Uh, it's always something. Like and subscribe. It's free. God bless everyone. Santa Claus. Over and out.